Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video, we're going to review the third episode of the first season of Chaotic. Well, I'm going to. And you, some of y'all might be saying, well, where's episode 2 review at? Well, I kind of covered episode 2 with episode 1. Because the first two episodes were called Welcome to Chaotic, and they were split into like two parts. And so, um... Go watch my last review, which I will link in the description for you beautiful people. Um, but with that said, I'm going to be uh, talking about uh, the third episode of Chaotic, which is called Unexpected. And I kind of loved, I didn't say this in the last, like my last review on purpose, but I do love how like, in the last, like in the Welcome to the Chaotic episode, we kind of saw one of the main characters that we're going to get, like, one of the main characters of the series. We kind of see just randomly walking around in a uh, chaotic. And he seemingly, it seemed like he was going to be kind of like a random character, a quote-unquote non-important character. And this episode, like, okay, he's an important character of the episode, right? I can tell you right now, Peyton, being the character I'm referring to, he's an important character through, like, the rest of the first season, second season, and third season, so. In this episode, it starts out on, like, Cass and, um, Tom in Param doing scan, uh, scan, uh, find, um, essentially, and to uh help a scan find let me backtrack because I'm going to like word this the wrong way on accident Tom and Cass are in Perum they're meeting hearing which is hearing is one of the uh characters or creatures you can play as in the tech, uh, in the, like the drones, which essentially comes down to like he's one of the playable qu characters if you have one of these cards. He's an um, overworlder, which is the people who has the blue around them. Because you see, there's like uh, the brown tribe, the um, red. That's gonna be Merlians. Mepedian, sorry. And Yellow Tribe. So, like, he Hearing is part of this Blue Tribe, which is called Overworlds. By the way, this is not uh, Hearing. This is Atticat, which is a totally different character. But we do get to see Atticat in, um, later on in the series. But, um... So, Hearing... Uh, Cass has some goodies for, um, um, hearing in, in exchange for information. And we see that, um, Kaor, being the ruler of the underworld, uh, has, ha has this, like, all something looking drill blaster thing. So Cass really wants it. But Tom says, but you promised me to, like, Give me tips against this uh, Peyton guy. And then pretty much Cass says, Sorry, I'm going to blow you off with this scan. It's too good of a uh, chance. And then Henry says, Say hi to uh, Peyton for me. So, Tom goes to uh, Chaotic. And for uh, Cass, this entire episode is pretty much... Cass is trying to wait. So K.R., the ruler of the overworld, gets in a fight with this, like, scouter that's in the overworld. And, uh, this scouter in the overworld kind of, like, damaged this battle armor. Um, which I believe in terms of, like, card base would be called a battle gear. Right? And so he, um, K.R. retreats, goes as... Omar, which is like a really smart scientist guy, to help fix and improve the machine. Cass follows him, 
and he's able to scan, um, he later on scans, uh, the, this battle gear, because the rules in this, which I don't think I, like, really explained in, like, my last review, which, if you guys watched the episodes, it would, uh, would have been explained for you guys, but if you guys hadn't and just are watching my reviews for the hell of it, thank you, and I will do my best to explain here. So if you scan something or someone who is damaged, let's say, uh, Etiquette. See, here, this is, um, the bottom, my bottom left, that's his health. So he has 55 health. So if he, hypothetically, I was able to, like, teleport myself to Param, Chaotic, and, and then, hence, through Param. And, and if Etiquette was, like, say, in a battle, and he got really injured, this 55 would be, like, um... Pretty much 25, because he will be very injured. But if he's, like, super healed, and victorious, um, and has some music, which is their first of magic, music casts on him to heal him, then he either be at 55 where he's at now, or higher health, right? Um, my point being, the state of, in this case, the character will be the same state as the car, like, that your ability to play as the character in the techno drums that they call it. And same with the battle gear. If the battle gear, like in this case, that cool drill thing that I mentioned that KR used doesn't work, then, um. Um, sorry. If that cool, uh, if that drill equipment thing that didn't work when SCAS scanned it, then Cass would not be able to like use like use it properly in the battle. Cause whenever you scan, you scan that creature, battle gear, music, location in the con like in the state of it when you're scanning it. Um, so Cass was able to like scan it while it was what when it was operational. Has that Havoc happen? Essentially, Cass it, teleports back to Chaotic. And while this whole thing's going on, Tom is facing Peyton. Uh, he, after he teleports from Chaotic, from, like, Cass, like, just pretty much saying, sorry, this is more important to me, Tom goes back to Param, no, sorry, back to Chaotic, and sees Sarah, who was seen in the... I want to say the second part of Welcome to Chaotic, which I kind of covered in my Welcome to Chaotic review. But Tom goes to Sarah. Sarah knows who Clayton is, I mean, Peyton is. So Sarah says, Oh yeah, uh, Peyton is a, um, he's kind of unpredictable, and I'm sorry for those poor loser who is going to face him. And then Tom says, I'm the poor loser. And then she Yes, yeah, sorry. So, um... Essentially, Peyton and Tom face each other. Um... It's a 1v1. Um... Tom uses his Maxor. Maxor is... Tom's favorite card and his best card. Essentially, so I would, like... It's not too surprised. Especially with giving, like... The last episodes, it's not too much of a surprise that Major Tom will use Maxor. And I forget that I'm a, like, this show has been part of my childhood, and I forget which creature that, um, Painting has. And I don't think I even have. Yeah, I don't even have that character in my deck. I'm sad. This is the extent to my, like, uh, creatures in, uh, my pettions. And I'm, I'm sad I don't have more. I have more, like, I feel like I have more in overworlds. Yeah, I have more in overworlder, I mean, underworlders, overworlders, Damien's. Man, okay. Anyway. Anywho. So... 
the fight's going on, and it looked like at one point Tom had a shot. Even Sarah said it. Um, as she said, he, yeah, he has shot one in a million. <laughs> immediately, immediately. Some of these jokes in this show is cheesy as hell. I'm not going to dispute that. Because, like, I feel like this, uh, like, this argument is, like, overused nowadays. But, like, in, like, in this case, it's, it is a kid show, right? That so happens to be promoting a card game, which so happens to be my favorite card game, right? And, I would say, I enjoyed the show, I think the show was good, it, I think, I mean, I am personally more drawn to it than I was when I was, like, the brief time I was, like, really heavily into, a uh, Digimon. When I, like, would watch a Yu-Gi-Oh! show. I would try to get into Pokemon for my brother. Because my brother, as a kid, was huge into Pokemon. I tried to get to, like, have that something in common with my brother so I can, like, talk to him. And to get into, like... Just to, like, see where the hype was at so I can connect with my brother a bit more. I, with that said, as much as I love my brother and as much as I try to get into Pokemon. And I don't mean this to be in any way a, sh uh, like, a, a metaphorical stab to anyone's ego when I say this who are, <coughs> sorry, who are into Pokemon. But I like, can't like better, I right? I can see why people are into Pokemon, and my favorite Pokemon is Squirtle. But I, I like, I feel like Pokemon is like overrated a bit, and I, I enjoy Chaotic. Maybe partially because it's underdog, and probably because like I'm weird. But Chaotic's fun. The card game's fun. The game, the actual um show is fun. So. Anyways, and, um, also part of the reason why I like Chaotic, before I get back into the episode, is because, even if you guys, like, watched the other episodes, like, if you guys had watched the episodes prior to this with you, right, or if you guys had decided, like, hey, I like the first two episodes, I'm gonna binge watch all of them once they're on YouTube. So I will have the third episode in the description below so you guys can watch it if you show choose. What I like about this series is the fact that they also like do something that I feel like some other shows that were based off card games try to do, but Chaotic, Chaotic does it better. And that is explaining strategy. I think they explain strategy better for a card game based show than like a lot of the shows card game based shows did at the time of chaotic airing and I generally believe that I generally believe that but anyways so with that said painting wins Tom's kind of butthurt. He, like, he sees Peyton getting praised, and so he goes up to Peyton, kind of throwing a temper tantrum, and pretty much accusing uh, Peyton of, like, sawing off, making him look like a jerk. And Peyton said, whoa, 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 amigo. I, this was me trying to make you look, like, bad or anything. This was me trying to, like, teach you some of my moves. If I told you what my moves were, then you would have gotten them. I want to show you some uh, some of my techniques. And he, uh, Payne says, where it goes up, like, who won and lost in this match, which I totally won, and you totally lost, I think you're Mondo Good, man, Mondo Good. And that, like, kills any negative feelings that Tom has in that scenario. And he said, Thanks, man. And they pretty much, like, bro-hugged it out. I say pretty much 
they didn't really do that. But they just like, we're like, okay, everything's crossed. We can move on now. And then uh, the episode essentially ends with like Tom saying, I'm hanging out with Sarah. You want to hang out? And Tom, Peyton says, take me to Sarah. So Peyton and uh, Tom sits on the table where Sarah's at. Cass finally came comes back from cha- uh, Param to Chaotic, and Tom asks, "How do your uh, scan quests go?" And Tom uh, Cass says, "Well, I can consider it be a very cheesy pun. Is it was a blast? I say this can be considered as a cheesy pun because, like, literally right after that, we see Herring running away from blasts." So, like, I'm not saying it's a bad cheesy, but I'll admit, it is a cheesy joke, which, even at my age, which, by the time of this recording, I am still 27. February 22nd is my birthday, so, by the time this video rolls out, I would be 28. But at the time of this recording, I am 27. And that joke... Even though it was cheesy, I admit it, kind of made me chuckle. Maybe that was because of the kid inside me. Like, maybe because I, like, watched all three seasons as a kid, and maybe it hit that side of me, like, the nostalgic side of me, and I kind of, like, do, <laughs> kind of, like, chuckled a little bit. So, I, I, I'm not dogging on it for it being cheesy. That's, let's be real, I, I kind of, like, uh, Cheesy shit. Which is probably why, like, I really was into the whole Lessons of Tomorrow show that the Arrow first had. <laughs> because that show was cheesy and it leaned into it. <laughs> but anyways. That's my review for Chaotic Season 1, Episode 3. Unexpected. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I Again, I will have the video because all the episodes are on YouTube. So, I'm able to, like, put the episodes... In the uh, description below. And I will also uh, put my review from for my last uh, episode review for Chaotic in thy episode. So if you guys want to watch that, you guys can too. So with that said, love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind of one other. I will talk to you fellow meetings later. Later, taters.